Hey guys, Augie Johnson here, BallerBootCamp.com, and in this video, I'm going to show you the three moves that Tony Parker uses to make plays for his team and make his teammates better. We dedicated. We dedicated. We dedicated. Okay, so the first one is a crossover called the throw dribble. The next one is the in and out cross, and finally the third move that he uses very well is the spin move. So first, I'm going to go ahead and get into that throw dribble crossover. Okay, so what this is basically is just a change of direction crossover, okay? Like a normal crossover is here, right? We try to keep it low under the knees. This one, since we're just changing directions, normally you're gonna use this like when breaking a press, going full speed, where you can't really do a crossover like that. So you just wanna change directions, so you're gonna use a throw dribble. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys what it looks like slow. Okay, so as you guys can see, I'm basically just trying to cross the ball. I'm trying to change directions as fast as I can. So let me go ahead and show you guys what that looks like full speed. Okay, so the reason that I love this move is because when you throw that ball out in front of you, you're gonna go and you're gonna chase it down, and that's gonna help you take less dribbles when trying to break the press or go coast to coast or just get down the court. Okay, so like you guys know, I'm a big fan of players that can get up the court with minimal numbers of dribbles, even in the half court as well. So this is gonna help you throw the ball out in front of you, chase it down, go get it, and cut down the number of dribbles, pick up your pace, and move at a fast speed. Okay, so now let me show you guys the in and out cross that he does very, very well, and I'm even gonna break down the footwork. So, what an in and out cross is, is the in and out move into a crossover. Okay, so anytime you're in the game and you wanna cross your guy over, you can set him up with this in and out and crossover, okay? Tony Parker loves this move. Now the reason, or the way you do this move, the footwork is very important, okay? Because you wanna have the in and out footwork as well as the crossover footwork, okay? So when you do your in and out, it's the same. Left, right, cross. Okay, so when I work with my players, I make sure always that they do this. And the faster you can do this move, the in and out cross, the faster you gotta move your feet. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut and show you guys what it looks like full speed, and then you're gonna see exactly how fast uh, my feet are moving. But you'll also notice that I am doing the footwork. Okay, here we go. Okay, now, so for the third part, I'm gonna show you guys the spin move that Tony Parker uses so well. So keep on watching and I'm gonna break it all down. Okay, so Tony Parker uses this spin move to get layups, okay? Not really a blow by move, so he'll use it when he penetrates inside and he'll actually spin off a big guy, a 6'10 guy, and make the layup, okay? He'll get away from the defense. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what it looks like. Like 90% of the time when Tony Parker penetrates and a big guy comes up to help, he's gonna use the spin move to spin around him, get that separation, and then he's gonna finish easy at the basket. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like full speed. And you actually, when you do this move, it has to be a quick move, okay? There can't be any time for the big guy to recover or else you're gonna get blocked. Okay, so let me show you what it looks like full speed. Okay, so a few important tips on this, especially when you're in the paint right there, is that you want to know where you're at. Okay, don't get lost, otherwise you're going to end up spinning over here. And when you go to shoot, you're not going to be able to shoot, you're going to throw it out of bounds, it's going to be a turnover or air ball or something. So know where you are on the court. Make sure you practice this full speed so that when you do it in the game, you don't lose the ball, or like I said, you end up in the wrong spot. Okay, it's kind of like a sixth sense type of thing. So, all right. That's it for this week. I hope you guys liked this video. Please click like. Please leave me a comment, any kind of question. I answer all my comments. And make sure you subscribe, okay? New videos come out every single Wednesday. Head over to ballerbootcamp.com. If you've never been there, you need to head over there and get my free workout, which is the Secret Weapon Workout, which really helped me improve my scoring average in college. It's yours free today, okay? So head over to ballerbootcamp.com, and I'll see you guys inside that workout. Okay, so anytime, Tony, Okay, so the, the, the spin move looks like, and give you guys a few, few details. Hold on.